there, everyone, and welcome to this week's broadcast. I am Anne LaFollette, and I wanted to talk to you today about the 100 Day Project, which has just finished today. It's an annual thing, and if you have not heard of it before, it was invented about 20 years or more than 20 years ago by Michael Beirut, who was a professor at the Yale School of the Arts. And he came up with this really unique project for his students. He asked them to pick one thing, one creative endeavor, and repeat that for 100 days in a row. And it's become a really huge thing on online in social media today. And it runs from, uh, from the beginning of April until right around now, every single year. And most people use the hashtag, hashtag the 100 day project or hashtag the 100 day challenge. And I have been participating it for the last several years. And this year I led a group of over 50 women in a private Facebook group so that we could have a very safe place to post our work and cheer each other on. And it's been an amazing experience. Today, what I wanted to do was just talk to you and highlight five of the students who are in the 100 Day Project with me this year because their work is amazingly inspiring, very, very diverse, and absolutely gorgeous. The first person I want to talk about is Jodina Beard, and here are some examples of her work. She has very crisp, clean lines and also very, very colorful color palettes that she chooses. And, but I love the fact that she also adds in details like the dots that you see in this image. And it was a, an absolute joy to pop into the Facebook group and see what she had posted every day because there was always this sort of cheerful brightness to it that was absolutely lovely and is absolutely lovely. The next person I wanna highlight is Asha Mengra, and she did portraits that I'm showing you now. And these portraits are amazing. She started doing them, I think, in black magic marker, and then she evolved to add color to them and to do some of them in chalk. And they're absolutely spectacular. And just think about it. She did these for 100 days in a row until she now has an amazing collection of work that's an incredible asset. And they're spectacular. Cindy Merrill also participated in the challenge with us, and I love her work. She has an incredible sense of humor, a fun-loving style, and it was another example of someone whose simplicity is joyful and brings a smile to your face every single day. Barbara Moore is another artist who participated in the 100 Day Challenge with us this year, and she did a combination of things. She did incredibly beautiful artwork and mixed media pieces that you see right now, but periodically, since she was traveling over the course of the challenge, she would take incredible photographs of the places that she visited. Here are a couple of them, and the sepia tones in these are such an incredible contrast to the rich color palettes that she used in her artwork itself. Finally, I want to showcase Jennifer Gilbert. She works with Alzheimer's patients, and which is a very, very intense job. Her work has an intensity of its own, and she both would photograph her work periodically showing us the tools that she used to create that particular piece, but she would also frequently do pieces that had resonance with her because of the patients that she works with. And I'm showing you a few of them now, and they're just incredibly stunning and gorgeous. And they just stopped me in my tracks. And I go, continue to go back to them to learn more and more about her style and also just about the meaning behind each one of these pieces. I hope this inspires you to participate in a 100 day project next year. I will be leading another group for sure. And if you like this broadcast, please subscribe so that you never miss one of my weekly broadcasts, but also click the link below the broadcast that says annelafollettart.com forward slash join me. If you join my creative community, you will hear from me every week, and then you'll know well in advance when I'm going to be putting together 
a private group for the 100 day project in 2020. I always like to say in closing that I am Anne LaFollette and it's never too late to create. I will see you here again next week and bye for now. Mm -hmm.